Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering. Smile. You rock. Spring. We will be calling the Energy Oracle as offered by Sandra Ann Taylor and seeking supporting messages through the Psychic Tarot Oracle as offered by John Holland. I will open with the invocation. You can if you'd like. Set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. Thank you. And the Psychic Tarot Oracle. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. <laughs> yes, smile. You rock. <coughs> Spring. Thank you. Let us begin. For smile, the energy oracle offers us number 45, man holding a heart. Man dealing with family, love, or emotions. For the upright position, this tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signifies a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in life. There could be a more balanced approach to your family and love at this time even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. The affirmation, I am comfortable with all my emotions. I honor and express them in appropriate ways. I feel peace. Hmm. And the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers in support the number two of the mental, mental conflict. This card deals with the inability to move forward as self-doubt emerges from indecisiveness or not being able to take action with a person, group, or even a situation 
in your present life. It may not be an easy decision, but you're already aware of this. Just remember that you have the strength, the courage, and the power to make all the necessary considerations. When you decide to act and finally make the choices that need to be made, then, and only then, will a resolution be forthcoming, and with it, a sense of mental relief. There is assistance out there for you, so seek out and listen to wise counsel to help you make the right decisions. Listen to your intuition and have faith in yourself. Peace and harmony will soon be yours. You rock, the energy oracle offers strategy number 21. Making a plan. This card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card upright, It indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control, add thought to action, and set your sights on the road ahead. For affirmation, Sandra offers, I plan the necessary steps to achieve my goals and I am willing to take action in that direction. I am flexible, persistent, and prepared. Indeed. (laughs) The Psychic Tarot Oracle offers in support. The number 12 of the Major Arcana. Sacrifice. Powerful achievements are usually born as a result of great sacrifice. This card represents self sacrifice and a time when you could look around your life to see what needs to be released. By surrendering and letting go, there will be more room to receive. The rewards for this are transformation wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. This card signifies that there's a situation happening or about to occur in your life and you can't control the outcome. This would be a good moment to pause, rest, have patience, reflect, and meditate. It would be wise to stand back so that you could learn to look at events with a more understanding, intuitive eye. Try to view people, issues, or problems from a different perspective. If you can achieve this, it will have a profound effect on your soul and your life. This sacrifice card can also symbolize a period of transition and change. The solutions you seek may be slow in coming, for it could be necessary to live into the answers. Accept the things you can't control. Heal and leave the past behind. Move forward toward your future and watch for new doors opening and paths that are being shown to you. A 
and as we move to spring. Door to Spirit, number 32. Spiritual Awakenings and New Beginnings. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity. The source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your very being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of your spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. And the Psychic Tarot offers in support the number one of the chakras, the base chakra, the key words, I have, the element, earth, the color, red. (laughs) Known as the base or root chakra, this energy center is situated at the base of your spine and is most closely related to all of your earthly issues, such as survival, the physical body, issues of money, sustenance, safety, and shelter. To balance this chakra, Practicing yoga can be extremely beneficial. Dancing or light physical exercise will also help keep the energy flowing and harmonious. Honoring your body and taking care of it on the outside will bring you well-being on the inside. It works both ways. This is a day of personal action, heeding the call of self to go within, honor the lessons that have been, the experiences that are in the moment and the dreams that you are calling into your adventure before you. Allow spirit to move you. Be well. Enjoy your day as your journey unfolds. Allow the love that you are to be reflected as well. I will join you again tomorrow. Thank you.